Unbelievable. This man actually invented a generator with a bearing and two syringes. He lit up light bulbs with ease and even tried to make a second son out of it. Is this a fool's errand? All I can say after seeing the end of the video is that this man is amazing. The man first purchased a bearing online, and due to limited funds, used bearings are much cheaper than new ones. Next, he traces the outline of the bearing on a board and draws the imaginary shape of the bracket with it in the center. A saw blade was used to cut out the bracket along the red line, and then the bearing was gently hammered into the groove of the bracket. The workmanship could be described as very fine. The next step was to make a shaft from bamboo that matched the bore of the bearing. And you can see that the shaft is completely handmade. Next a rivet shape was machined. The man glued the bracket with the bearing to another board and mounted a small motor on the bearing in reverse. Because he wasn't using electricity to drive the motor. He wanted the motor to generate electricity in reverse to light a light bulb. The man had prepared two clean syringes and four button magnets, which were obviously a little antique as well. When it comes to utilizing waste, Indians are really good. He glued the magnets to the syringes in the same direction to achieve the effect of peer repulsion. Then he removed two magnet rings from the old radio and glued them to the syringe with 502 glue. Now put the pusher into the syringe to see the effect. When the pusher is near the bottom, the magnetic force of the magnet repulsion pops the pusher back. Take two yogurt straws. Cut them to 2 centimeters long and glue them to one end of the pusher with hot melt glue and make two simple springs out of bicycle strips. Next it was time to start assembling. First connecting the syringe to the bearing with a simple spring bar. Then fixing the syringe to the bracket with hot melt glue. So that when the bearing rotates it will drive the actuator to make a piston movement in the syringe. The other side was fitted in the same way. So that a generator was complete. Only one of his fingers was needed to start the machine. And now the man was about to prove whether the great conjecture of the artificial sun could be realized or not. Just like that. A simple device without any energy input actually did light up a light bulb. The man said that if the device could be enlarged 10,000 times, it could light up its city 24 hours a day, and if it was enlarged 1 billion times, it could create a second sun. What do you think about the little brother's great solar dream?